especially if you're over the age of 40, this condition starts to kick in. It's not really a condition, it's just age, but we call it sarcopenia in the exercise physiology world. It, it's muscle wasting disease, but it happens after you reach a certain age where your body will start to lose a certain percentage of its muscle mass every year. You use it or lose it. Same thing right. with like what we learned in high school. There's certain classes that we didn't give a crap about. Right. We, don't, we don't remember any of that junk yeah, anymore, right? Because we don't use it, yeah. right? Same thing with our muscle tissue. If we are not consistently activating it in those movement patterns and stimulating it, you will lose a certain percentage of muscle mass every single year. So by training, that can help offset that. Mm -hmm. And also increasing your protein consumption just on a daily basis. It doesn't have to be from a, a supplement. They help, but by being more cognizant and aware of the nutrition that you're putting in, increase your meat intake, increase your, you know, maybe milk if you're not lactose intolerant, eggs, mm -hmm. tuna, salmon, fish, trying to increase your protein intake exponentially is going to help offset that body's degeneration, mm -hmm. right? So, and even, and say that for young people too, mm -hmm. increase your protein intake, you'll recover faster, your bones will thank you, your heart will thank you, your, you know, your muscles will thank you. Cause you know, working out, taking supplements, it's not all about being a aesthetic body, you know, it's not all about showing the sexy muscles and showing what you look like. It is for ability and for your body's ability to constantly yeah. improve.